first base tonight. Eight with seven home runs. He's going to lace that into left center where Brady Allen is there to scoop it. So a leadoff hit, and it's now 30 games. State's best hitter. 3-1, and the preseason All-SEC player will wrap that into center field, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Rowdy Jordan and Tanner Allen. That is going to fall, and that will bring in one run at least. A good relay in by center fielder Brady Allen, however, keeps runners at the corners, but Mississippi State will take the lead one to nothing. Three consecutive singles. Rowdy Jordan, Tanner Allen, and now Cam James on a 3-2 count. That's just a beautiful piece of work there by Cam James to get down and barrel that ball. And Hancock to Wimmer, Wimmer to short, over to first, a double play. How about that for South Carolina? Boy, what a play by Wimmer to get it started at second. Swing and a miss, Wimmer will go down on strikes as they toss to first. Pitch than you've been calling. You didn't get the call. And again, just gets in a hitter's count there, 3-1. Good piece of hitting there. Two outs, 2-1 two count, runner on second. Khalil was shaded perfectly for that ground ball. He throws over to first. There. Swing and a miss, he gets Andrew Eister. So another strikeout, that's two strikeouts now. Gets another one through. Two for two night right now for Cam James. In the air, shallow right, Eister comes in, makes the catch and Mississippi State will leave a runner stranded footwork. Brennan Malone gets a base hit for South Carolina. Malone wrapping one into left field and the Gamecocks with a base runner with a watch of this at bat. And Noah Myers works the walk. And Wimmer. Or rather Brennan Malone and Wimmer will fly that to right field. It will be deep enough for Malone to tag. So they're at the corners, but there are two outs. The 0-2, swing and a miss. Burgess will strike out. The third Gamecock batter that has gone down on strikes. 3-2, and Brandon Jordan walks him. Ball four called by Marcus Patillo. to right field. Eister charging in, he's gonna have a chance to double him up. And he does. Andrew Eister. Hits him with the fastball. He does and he executes that one to, perf oh wow. Oh, I thought that was a strike, <laughs> sorry. So did the catcher. That's Clark at first base, attacking David Mendham. And he gets the strikeout. As David Mendham goes down looking, four strikeouts for Christian McClure. That's fair. That's going to be extra bases as it gets into the corner. Eister gets there quickly, however, makes a good throw in and sliding in just in time is Rowdy Jordan. The do on a Friday night. That's going to bring in the run easily. Right up the middle. An RBI here in the Mississippi State fifth to get another in that long list of RBIs for Tanner Allen. So you think about it, three out of four pitches there were breaking balls, Birch. He throws one up for a strike, and then the second one he throws down in the dirt. And that may stay in. Third baseman alone in the dirt. Makes the catch. It's going to be a leadoff base hit to get the sixth underway for Logan Tanner. First hit of the game for Tanner. 
Swing and a miss, he strikes out Tanner Leggett. So back-to-back -back strikeouts. The 0-2 gets Wimmer. That's his fifth strikeout in Carolina. Pitched for Nation Ford High School. Right off the ankle, it looked like, of Cotto. Right. And that just pinged out to left field. Leadoff man aboard again is Lane Forsyth. Mikey Tepper, that's where he's we, he pitched. He, so he saw Cotto a lot. We may see Tepper come in this weekend. Bases are third. And first is occupied as well. And that is going to be in the corner. They could all come home. Breaking this game open is Cam James as he put that in the corner in right field. Let's take one more look as James just putting that right in that corner there so hard to make a play. And you know, I said that Tanner Allen had a lot going on. Speed's one of those things. And you couple that with the fact that they're second in the league, just right behind Vanderbilt in team pitching. The ERA at 358. That is going to bring in another run. And a runner moves to third. He just kept getting away, getting away, and then it got far enough that time. Gets the hit there and an RBI as well as he sends that into the corner and it's gonna be extra bases. Well, just another great piece of hit and sound like a broken record, Birch, but. Helping out the Gamecocks too because Kentucky has the lead on Florida right now and Missouri is Clark. Strikes him out. Driven deep center field, but that will hang up in time for Rowdy Jordan to get there for another one, two, three inning for Christian McLeod. Boy, is he the regionals and maybe even that outside shot of hosting a regional. That decision will be, will be made next week, apparently as to which 20 teams will host. But I can't, three runs for Jordan. That's gonna possibly bring in another. Rounding third, here comes the throw well offline. Well, that's just a poor effort. Uh, that kind of sums up the night for South Carolina. Now that ball's to the right side of the infield, Gilreath going over to maybe have to potentially cover first, but he's got to be backing up there. He's got to be backing up home. Could have at least tried to keep that runner from going from first to second there on the wild throw from Eister. So James will Take his base, he's at first. So runners at first and second now, nine to nothing. It's Braylon Skinner. Right field, backing up a few steps as Andrew Eister makes the catch. And the inning comes. One game on a Friday night. And Noah Myers beats the shift, boy. They had three guys over there loaded and Myers Texas A&M rallying, put it five runs in the fifth. They lead Ole Miss eight to six. South Carolina will get a hit, but have a clean inning. Fly ball, we'll see if it will get out of play. And Eister making another good catch over there. And a lot of flamethrowers too. They've got, I think, five guys that can go over 95, 96 miles per hour. They're just one on, nobody out. 
South Carolina's gonna have two runners aboard now. Count. Down goes Wes Clark for the first out near the bottom of the ninth. Andrew Usher goes down swinging. Two outs. Look at your wristbands that you've been wearing all season long that say, you know, 1-0 today. That's where you want to be tomorrow. Put this one in the rear view mirror. And uh, that's what you've got to do. And then you get plays like that. What a job by the first baseman over there to make the play in Mississippi State will win it, shutting out South Carolina nine to nothing off of 12 hits and a beautiful performance by starter Christian McLeod.